Hello everyone. Let's have a look at this question here. This question says that there is a giant 14 feet tall and it is standing 450 feet from the foot of the wall. Now if we look at the top of the wall, the angle of elevation is given to be 45 degrees. Then we have to find the height of the wall. Now to visualize this question, let me tell you a small story. There are giants and his wilding friends and they want to climb up a very high ice wall to take shelter on the other side. Now for that, the giant needs to find out the height of the wall so that they could all climb up and take shelter on the other side. Then we are given that the height of the giant is 14 feet and it is standing 450 feet from the foot of the wall. Then we are given that the angle of elevation from his eyes to the top of the wall is 45 degrees. So we can say that in this triangle ABC, angle A is given to be 45 degrees. And we have to find the complete height of the wall. Now if you observe here, we are getting a triangle ABC. And in this triangle, we know the value of adjacent and one angle is given to us. And we have to find the length of this opposite. So we can again use trigonometric ratios to find this length of opposite. And to find out the height of the wall, we'll have to add the height of giant as well. So let's try and apply trigonometric ratios to find out the length of this opposite. So in this triangle ABC, we are given the value of adjacent and we have to find the value of opposite and this angle is given to us. So we can apply tan here, tan is opposite upon adjacent and we can get the value of opposite here. So let's apply it. We can write down tan of 45 degrees is equals to BC upon AB. Now we know the value of AB is 450 feet here so just put the value and we can put the value of tan 45 from the table it is 1 so we can say just cross multiply bc will be equals to put the value of ab ab is 450 450 and the value of tan 45 is 1 so we are getting the length of bc equals to 450 feet so we can say that this height is 450. Now to find the height of the wall, we have to also add the height of this giant. So the height of the wall will be equals to the height of the wall from the giant eyes plus the height of the giant. So the height of the wall will be equals to 450. And in this, we have to add the height of the giant. So this will come out to be 464 feet. Now, if you will observe that in this question, first of all, we can say that we had drawn the diagram to visualize the problem in a better way. Then we had used trigonometric ratios to find the value of unknown. In this case, it was BC. And then we had added the additional value to find the value of our unknown. In this case, we have to find the height of the wall. So we had added 14 into 450 to get the height of the wall to be 464 feet. 